Hello, so my name is Dave. Welcome back to some more TCG Card Shop Simulator. I know it's been a little while, but I've been out making some money, as you can see at the top of my head here. We have a lot of money to spend, and we have some shop renovations to do. Now, the shop looks a little bit different, and that's because I pushed this wall back a little bit, and I've upgraded actually here a little bit so that it's a little bit bigger, and I've bought like two or three more tables from the last time you saw it, so... This is bigger, that's bigger. Not only that, if we go onto here, I've actually got the most expensive. I don't know if I can buy a new one. I can't buy a new one just yet, but I've got the most expensive thing going. So people are paying $35 to play here, which it's, it's bringing in the good little bit of money in. I've also hired not only my son Terrence, but I've hired Dennis, Brandon, and Clark Cash as well. So Dennis over here, he, he kind of does the restocking because he's faster doing the restocking and he's not that good on the till. I have uh, Clark here on the till because he's got very fast till speed. And then I've got Terrence here on the till because, again, it's better than his restock. So everyone has a job to do in this place. As you can see, the boxes are all fucked up everywhere because I bought too many things. And Terrence doesn't really know what to do. Not Terrence. Terrence is on the till. Who? Who? D Dennis. Dennis is the one <laughs> going around putting stuff in. So everything's working. Everything's like clockwork here. But you can always make it bigger. You can always make it better. So with the 56,000, what am I going to do with it? So first thing I want to do, I want to get rid of this wall. I know. The classic ETBs are going to go. I even know the names and stuff. That, that's how much I've learned about, like, trading card games and stuff like that since the last time I played this game. These are, well, no, these are like booster boxes, but like actual boxes. But these look like ETBs, at least from what Pokemon taught me. Anyway, not, not the point. <laughs> so we're going to get rid of this wall. And I don't know what I'm going to do with these blue boxes. I do kind of want to keep them. I was thinking of moving them maybe here. But I kind of want to buy some more battle boxes that are here. And then we're going to get some more plushies over here. The reason I want to get rid of this is because we actually have these boxes, which I've unlocked a while ago, but I never actually bought them. So I'm going to buy this because I do want to add that to the shop. Maybe buy two new battle boxes. Again, we don't really need them. Having two different ones doesn't really change anything apart from when we do different tournaments to micromanage the amount of money we bring in. But I'm not really going to do that. So is it worth doing that? I don't know. We can also buy these, the destiny packs. I think I could even buy the better destiny packs. Oh, oh my god, I actually unlocked so much more than I thought I did. Um, okay, I have a little bit of a weird idea, but let's just let's just see if it actually works out like I've got in my head. So, we're gonna buy, if, if I could even find what I'm looking for, where, where, where are you? There you are, okay, two of these, three maybe? I think three is the, the, the amount I want. Oh my god, look, I bought three of them, and I'm still on $50,000. It's so good to be rich. Okay, we're going to put this over here, like there, there, next to it, so we can buy more of the uh, battle boxes. Maybe not, maybe we'll, I don't know, again. Not 100% sure. We're just going with the flow, seeing what we feel like after we've popped stuff down. So we're going to go with that. Maybe I buy one more, but I'm not sure. Well, the reason I bought the third one is, what I'm thinking about doing is having more of these here, like that. So then we have all of the new boxes over here. My plan is for this, for each one of these stands to have like the old stuff on. So here I'd have the booster boxes like here. And on this side, I'd have these packs and then remove these packs to make room for the destiny packs. Everyone get what I'm doing? Everyone understand where I'm, where, where I'm coming from? So let me move around. Let me uh, put some stuff places where, and then we can start ordering some stuff in. Now, because I'm slightly scared that we might run out of money, let's just buy the things that we actually bought. So let's buy four of you i think that's fine that's my five of you maybe i think that'll be able to fill up the shelves let's buy three of you five of you again I, again I, I think that fills up the shelves i don't 100 percent know uh what else we need to buy we then need to go and get figurines so we need two different figurines to fill out the shelves that i just bought so maybe the star and maybe this bat because they're the next ones that we can buy so might as well or maybe i should just get these two more expensive, so therefore I could sell them for more? I don't know. Uh, We'll do this just for now to make sure we can fill everything out. So by three of you, by three of you, I assume? Okay, let's spend that. Oh, yes. Look at all the new stock. Everything's going so well. How, how many can I fill out on you? I could do four. I don't think I bought enough, but that should be fine. Okay, next thing is the stars, which will go on this side. Ice to so many of you. Oh my god, you fill out one shelf space. So that's actually really, really good. Then these are the destiny packs, which will go 
They could go here. In fact, will they go here? Or should they go here? So I could go basics, rares, and then like all the bigger packs go over here. In fact, I'm so fucking stupid, actually. Oh my god, wait, wait, no, I, I've been really stupid. I've been so stupid just now. The whole point of the shells was to buy this. I even bought that. Okay, wait, wait, I, that means I'm gonna have to get the red ones for this. I'm gonna need to get another shelf here and demote the orange packs. Yeah. Oh, God, okay. <laughs> I think I fucked this up. Uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna have enough money now because of that mistake. Fuck! All right. The store is all done, and as you can see, outside here is my storage because the game doesn't have any storage, which I still think is very, very silly, but no one steals anything in this game, so it's better out here than in there. So, let me show you the store. Oh, it looks the same out here, but <laughs> if you actually walk in, we now have a new Destiny packs here. This is empty because I actually forgot that there's an extra space there compared to the actual boxes, but we're actually really close to buying... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? These, we're, we're close to buying the purple Destiny cards. So I'm two levels off of that. So I'm just going to wait for that to then fill this out, which will hopefully be in this part. And then we have all of the old packs that were in like the premium section. And now they're like in this little section here where they're all condensed into like the old pack section. And we've got all the new booster boxes over here. We have our new figurines here and here. And then I did decide to fill this up. I was like, oh, I didn't know if I wanted to. I decided to get one of the water packs, which I wasn't able to fill up completely. And I decided to get this. These, these are like the premium battle box that I just had down here, which are really, really expensive to unlock and buy individually. And I actually bought three or four cases. As you can see, they're extra that I needed. So... Hopefully these sell for a lot. In fact, what we need to do now is price everything. I'm going to need to change this tomorrow morning, but I'll explain why I'm changing it now. And I'm going to change tomorrow. So we're going to go for 45. Like I said, I really like to go a few cents up of everything. This is £12 per pack. Holy shit, this must have some straight fire inside. Uh, This one, I'll do 50. I don't want to go too close to the $1 over mark. So I, I try not to. So I think that's good. This will be 52. Again, these all change in the morning. But for right now, I'm putting these prices, basically, uh, instead of tomorrow morning. Because I want to open the store as soon as I load the new day in. Because what the game does is it loads a stupid amount of NPCs straight off the bat. Which, if you don't open the store straight away, they'll walk away. And then you'll have, like, a normal of the number of NPCs slowly walking back into the map. Whereas if you open the game straight away, your store just gets flooded by people. And the issue with opening the store and then doing this is if someone picks up something that's already not priced, like let's say this, for example, they'll just buy it for the market price or not the market price, the average cost, which means I'll lose a lot of money. So I do it now. And then even if they buy it for lower or more than what the market price is that next day, at least I don't lose money out. You, you see what I mean? See, I'm not just I'm not just a, a, a head full of hot air. I can actually think. I know how games work. Okay. I think everything is priced. I think everything is done. I don't think I'm missing anything. Everything is up and running. I think we're good for the next day. I think we're oh so good. I don't even want to see what this loss is. Oh, this loss is going to be like <laughs> minus 50,000. Oh, <laughs> that's so gross. Also, uh, I did have a bit of money to spend on stuff that I was missing. But as you see, the $500 left for the and look see what i mean a clump of npcs and you just want them to walk in straight away um i need these events to keep going so i can actually charge people the 35 dollars an hour if i don't have enough money i'm pretty sure it doesn't come out of my bank account like bills do it'll just not come out and i won't have the event so i needed that 500 dollars there right we have a new store people come on in look at my employees ready bright and early to start the day in fact i need to go around and check See, like this, every price is not been, or every price is the right thing. So that one could go up by 25 cents. This will bring down a little bit. Again, I don't want to go too high over because then people get pissed off and people don't buy as many. I want people to bulk buy. That's good. That's a perfect price. That's also a perfect price. This one could actually go higher. This one I will go 65 for. That one I'm, I'm not too bothered about. That's fine. Fine. This one, I'll put 50. I think 50 is fine. Again, I, I want people to start bulk buying instead of just buying one or two for a little bit over than what it actually is. Oh, God. 
he's already done. It's okay. I have the guy going outside and um, and fixing everything for me. Okay. So it'll go like a good day. Okay, the store is up and running, which means I could open some of these destiny packs. That's how good they are. Oh, wow. A pull already? Okay. This is looking great. Also, I found a glitch if you if you just saw me do some of this. So if I do this and wait, if I press that and then do that, the packs open by themselves. <laughs> so in my spare time, I've just been opening the packs uh, like off screen while I watch something and just grinding the game, which I haven't packed anything too crazy off screen. I've packed a few things that are over like 900. I think I packed one thing over a thousand, but I've seen people pack stuff for like... 10,000? In fact, no, I think the most expensive card I got was like 8,000? 8, 8,000, 8, I think. But I've never actually cracked over the 10,000 mark, which is very, very sad. But hopefully, today is the day with these packs. Look at these packs. Go! Make me rich! Oh, a black card! Oh my god, that's the second. That one looked so cool. That's actually the second one in my collection. So, the other thing I want to do... Let me just do that so it opens up by itself. The other thing I want to do is get, like, a case where I can put all of my really cool pulls. That's something else I want to buy. I don't know where I'm going to put it in the store because there's not a lot of space in the store. But that definitely is something else I want to buy because I've got two black cards now. And once I have everything I want to buy, at least for the end of this episode, because this may be the last episode for at least a while. At least a while. Relax. Just a while. Um, I want to have like a showcase of everything I've packed and I don't I want to stop Selling expensive cards once I'm in a good like swing of things and I don't really need money to be coming through I really want to be keep saving my like really expensive high-end cards. I think that'd be pretty cool Because it's not real life. If it was real life. I'd sell the most expensive cards all the time but It's a game so I can keep them without thinking too much Okay, we're at the end of the day and we made five thousand three hundred dollars, which is amazing it means in like what 10 days so at day 113 112 we've actually made our 50k back if we have a day like this every day but it kind of seems like it's low is it just me am i getting greedy am i turning to mr Krabs a, a bit I, I don't know i feel like maybe i should have made a bit more maybe i want to make a bit more so i can make a bit more moolah you buy something expensive If it's if it's fair, then buy it. I need the money. Get, yeah, buy buy loads of stuff. Buy loads of stuff. This guy's about to make me rich. Watch. I'm gonna oh, it's gonna make me so rich. You spent sixty dollars. Uh, okay. I again, I I don't know. I, I I think it's a successful day. I think. Uh, I don't know. God, this is an actual representation of what my life would be if I had money. <laughs> Just ripping opening back. If you guys don't know, I have a second channel where I post, like, all of my Pokemon TCG stuff. So I post, like, uh, oh, 462. That's probably one of the better pulls we've had in, like, the 30 minutes I've been opening packs. Um, I post me playing the actual TCG live on live streams. I'll post, like, updates on how I'm doing on the game. And recently, I actually did the pack opening of the new newly released Surging Sparks. And I did the 151 pack opening. And it was super fun. And I just had a lot of... I, I, I didn't realize how much of a pack opening fiend I was until I started opening those packs. Like, I realized I loved opening packs even before when I played Yu-Gi-Oh! and stuff like that. But I really love opening packs to a point where I dropped 200 pounds on Pokemon merchandise and Pokemon packs and stuff like that. And I, I, I'm telling you right now, I am itching for the next payday so I can, <laughs> so I can open a few more. <laughs> Oh, it's 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 really bad. It's actually really bad. I shouldn't be laughing. It's really bad. I really want some packs. Oh yes, level thirty nine. Finally, I don't know what that unlocks, but that, that hopefully that will unlock something. <laughs> We're one level away from the the new orange or purple packs. Uh, oh my god, the next level up is so far away. Lady, we're closed. Get out of here. And you fucking hurry up. I want to go home. Well, you probably want to go home. $800. What did you spend $800 on? I love... No, no, we're clo... We're clo... It's fine. It's fine. You, you spend $800. It's fine. I can, my, my wife can wait. You know, I barely see her because she works. This is a one day off, but that's fine. You stay there because you spent eight hundred dollars. Asshole.
Okay, we got a little bit more money, so let's see if I can buy what I need to buy. So we have the small card display thing. I was thinking about buying the bigger one, but I just haven't packed anything to warrant buying, like, the, the huge one or this one. In fact, I can't even buy this one because it needs to be level 50. So that's definitely... Auto send. Oh, that would be really cool if it does what I think it does, which aerates the whole fucking room. Anyway, doesn't matter. I think... The small one is probably the best one to do. I, and even with the small one, I can't fit all of the cards I want to put on it in it. But oh well, that, that that's fine. I'll pop this through. So now I open it. Where is a good place to put it? Maybe here? Like next to Till so people can like be in all. Ooh, next to all the packs. Because then people walk up here and they're going to be like, oh, wow. Okay, what can I pack off of? Whoa, I can pack this off of the packs. I'm like, yeah, if you just pay like 400 fucking dollars straight into my bank account, then maybe you might have a sliver of a chance of packing them. Who knows? Anyway, uh, so we go to, how do I filter? Filter to our ghosts. Oh, it's like $700 here. Look at that. Oh, so beautiful. That is so beautiful. I'm so annoyed that I haven't packed anything. I have actually been opening packs. For an hour. I've been opening packs for a real time, not in-game, for real time, one hour. <laughs> I have packed absolutely nothing apart from a few cards worth like 300. I think the most I've packed is like a $400 card. So that's that. So really annoyed, <laughs> but oh well. I'm going to leave this here. Will there be more of the series? Yes, there might be, but that's a very big might. Or not big might. That's a very likely might because in the roadmap here, they're going to do a lot of new things like customer review, which doesn't really bother me. Customer trade cards could be kind of cool. Organized tournaments would be really, really cool. And then random events. But the one I'm looking most forward to is the playable TCG, shop decorations, grading cards, and difficulty mode. So the last three, I don't know if these are in order of what they're going to do. By the looks of it, they've already scratched this one off. But these are the things I'm looking forward to. So once they do that, I'll most more than likely come back to the game. But it obviously depends on what I'm doing at the time. If I do want to come back to the game, if roadmap stuff is actually really cool, or if it's just like a little gimmicky stuff just to say, hey, you can play the game, but the game is actually not really that good. So we'll see. But I am re I do really enjoy playing this game. I do play it a lot in my spare time, not only just to get it sorted for YouTube, but because I do love the game. It's just so much fun. But I feel like I've packed some really cool cards in the time I've been playing this. I've packed three ghosts. I've packed uh, some pretty expensive cards. My shop looks really, really cool from the little one stand of like singles I had to like one room being fully decked out for... Oh, wait, this is closed. One room being fully decked out for like playing games and then the other room just being full of shelves and merchandise and cool packs I can buy. And now this where I can display the cards that I don't necessarily want to sell but are just here because they're really cool. It's so cool. It's such a cool level of progression I've gone through with the game. And I, I think this is why people love simulators so much. <laughs> and maybe maybe I do have a soft spot for them now. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Guys, then drop us a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.